Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a magic wand for pretend play. You can find your free pattern for this wand in the link below, and this wand goes perfectly with our fabric crown pattern and also our hooded cloak pattern, which I've also linked in the description below if you're interested. The fabric you'll need to make this wand is a 6 inch or 15 centimeter strip of light to medium woven fabric, such as cotton drill or cotton canvas to wash linen. You'll also need a 6 inch or 15 centimeter strip of interfacing and use interfacing that isn't too thick or stiff as it'll be difficult to turn the star the right way out. If you don't have interfacing, you can also use a low loft batting or wadding, they're the same thing. Having interfacing or batting is important as it stops the glue from seeping through the main fabric of your star. You'll also need a handful of pillow stuffing and you can also use fabric scraps if you want to uh, upcycle your scraps. Uh, a wooden dowel which is approximately a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch which is around six millimeters to a centimeter thick and 30 centimeters long which is also a foot and various lengths of ribbon which is optional but it gives it a bit more of a fun aesthetic. You'll also need all of the other standard items for sewing as well as glue that'll stick to fabric for example hot glue or Gorilla Glue or E6000. Today I'm actually going to be using shoe glue because that works pretty well. After printing off your pattern pieces available in the link below Cut two of your main fabric and two of your interfacing or batting fabric. Place one of the interfacing pieces over the star pattern piece and trace along the sewing line and mark two of the notches on the bottom. Then mark the notches on each piece of the star. Do not iron your interfacing onto your star just yet. Place your fabrics in the following order to make sure the side with the notch lines is all together. I like to keep these on the bottom. Put the interfacing with the glue side facing up if it has glue, the main star with the right side facing up, the main star with the right side facing down, and then the interfacing with the glue side facing down. Pin these together and sew along the stitching line you traced. But you don't want to sew between these notches. Take your fabric scissors and cut along the interfacing on the outside of the seam you just stitched so that we can reduce the bulk around these seams. And we're going to repeat this on the other side. Snip the star's corners on each side except for where the opening is. Snip close to the stitching line but don't cut through it. Next, we will clip the star's outside curve so it sits nicely when we turn it the right way around. It should look something like this. And as an optional extra, I'm going to trim the outside seam to reduce the bulk even more. If you used fusible interfacing, now is the time to fuse it to your fabric with an iron. Turn the steam off, then use a low heat and press cloth if you're using synthetic material. Press the iron gently and do not glide it, as this can shift the fabric and cause puckering. Now it's time to turn our star the right way out. Using your fingers, gently push on one of the star points closest to the opening through the gap and repeat with the other side. Then carefully turn the remainder of the star through the hole. Now 
And at this point, I've realized I've made a Patrick star. To get the points turned out nicely, you can use a chopstick or the back of a pencil to poke out the corners of the star. Then we're going to snip the corners where the opening is and fold those edges over. Using your pillow stuffing, pull small amounts off and stuff it inside the star, using your fingers to get it into the points. Take approximately four pieces of ribbon. The length is up to your creativity, but make them longer than you think you'll need. Place them together and tie a sturdy knot in one end. Grab your glue of choice and dab a glob of glue on the top of your dowel and around the top. You don't need too much. Separate your ribbon pieces and place the knot neatly on top of the dowel. This is a little fiddly, but pull your ribbon pieces down around the dowel so they stick to the side and are secure. Place it aside to dry and go make yourself a coffee. If you need to hold the ribbon in place, you can wrap an elastic band around the ribbon and dowel. Just make sure you don't touch the glue. Once the dowel is dry, Cut off the excess on top of the ribbon and put more glue around the top of the dowel on the outside of the ribbon. To make sure the dowel sits nicely in the star, it helps to poke your finger or a chopstick in there first to make a little hole in the stuffing where the dowel's going to sit. Open up the bottom of the star and without touching the edges with the glue, insert the dowel about halfway into the star. Straighten it up and clip it into place to dry. Once dry, remove the clips and add any more stuffing if your star is lacking. Mine was a little bit floppy down the bottom. Then either ladder stitch or glue the opening shut on either side. If you like, you can tie the ribbon around the dowel or into a bow and you're done. You now have a magic wand for your little one.